Howdy folks, Boilerat66 back again with another Rust video. Uh, I believe I told you guys I would let you see my place once it was done. I can't say that it's 100% done, but it's done to the point it's going to be at this moment. And here it is. I have uh, three levels of kind of like living area, and then I go up another three levels to a watchtower. Uh, just in case it turned on the PvP and I need a place to have a fighting position out of, I can snipe from up there in all directions. So that works out really good. And uh, let me go over here and you'll be able to see, hopefully. If you look right directly under where it, it kind of kicks out there, there's a door. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go up and get on the roof and show you what I'm talking about here. It always jumps back when I try to get in my door. I think I'm going to put a ramp there. This is the downstairs. Just a whole lot of storage and workbench, furnace, fires in every corner. Let's see, that's the second level, this is the third level, which means this will be the roof. See, I went ahead and put doors here, besides just coming out on the roof, I put another one just in case we go ahead and make more levels high. Then I would be able to... Uh, just continue right on up. I, I can go as high as I want to. Now, if you look directly over there, Fire Shadow has a place right now. It's ten levels high. It's really, really tall. I didn't really want to go that high. I got this up high enough so that we can see into Radtown over there. We can see anything that's coming from that area. If it, if it was only about three levels high, once you get down into this third floor, you can't see everything real well. So I wanted to make sure you could see plenty from all angles. Let's just go on up here and I'll show you what I mean. This is our fighting air position. You can see pretty much everything out this side, everything over here coming from Red Town, up there in the rocks. The only issue I have is you can see things over here, and there you see you you fall off of that. You're not going to get too too well off there. So I went ahead and put a window down below here where you can be hidden by the stairs but still see out there and that works out real well so there it is this is the place I built I actually let me see this is the roof I believe yeah this is the third floor I actually have my own little room of, of keeping my own stuff this is kind of a community building so you can shoot out of here I'm not going to kill the deer because I don't need the food, but I just went ahead and shot it one time so you can see that you can shoot out these windows with no problems at all. Second floor, there's nothing yet, but in, yeah, this is the place I built, and it took some time. Let me see if we go right in the right direction with this door. We still don't have hardly anybody here on the server. Um, right now, you, it's just Fire Shadow and myself. Some of the other, Ian has been here. He's got himself pretty much set up in, in my place here. Um, if you do come to this server and you have come with your, a buddy or anything like that and you want to build your own place that has uh, one door, say, and you want to both be able to use it. All you have to do, I'll show you on a door that's not coded, just in case the code appears. I don't want anybody to know. I don't know why it always gives me problems going in that door. I think I really, really need to. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and do it on one of these doors. Oh, this one here is fine. 
All you have to do in order to let someone else use your door too is hold the E button instead of just opening the door. Click on change lock and you can put in a password. And once you, you have put that password in and your buddy goes ahead and uses the password to open a door that you made, they will be remembered on that door. They do not have to put the password on there every time they go to open that door, which is really, really nice. I thought they were going to have to put the password in every time, and if you're being chased in PvP, you would have issues being able to get in because, in, you know, your adrenaline's going and you're trying to fumble through putting a uh, key password in there. It's not that way. As soon as that person has opened the door one time, he is remembered on that door, which is really, really nice. And we've already tested all that out. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I don't want to put a password on that door unless people start using that door for uh, making their own little rooms, their own little storage areas. Not sure why I'm going up. I want to go down. Close this. Uh, the guys that are going to be coming in and actually staying here until we get our big uh, fort built that we're going to actually use. Once we turn PvP on, we're going to use that. It's going to be really... Oh, excuse me, I need to get a drink of water real fast. It's going to be really fortified. It's going to be... Uh, really hard for anybody to come in and get us and that's what's going to be the challenge because what the, the plan is and I'm hoping I can get some people that watch this to go ahead and come to the server get some stuff set up and once we turn PvP on challenge us come at us um, we're, we're not going to have PvP on continuous on this server Unless it gets to the point where we have enough people and that's what they want. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of set up an area for anybody who doesn't want to do the PvP. That area is going to be off limits to PvP. And I, I need to figure out how I'm going to set that up. But that is what we would have to do. Because I know not everybody wants to be, on, be PvP. Uh, some people might come to this server for the fact that it's not set up as PvP. They need to come up with a way to be able to make signs in the game. That way you could just put up signs in different areas and say, you know, beyond this point, PvE only, um, whatever. I'll have to figure something out. Or just basically have it set up so that the only time that there's really PvP going on is when you're challenging somebody or... Uh, you know, I don't want, I definitely do not want it to ever turn into some of these, uh, what they call those. Um, oh, hell, I don't know. The, the, the servers that the uh, Rust people have, have set up, I don't want it to turn into some of that stuff where everything is shoot on sight. As soon as they see anybody, whether they're naked and all they have is a stone they just shoot them just to be shooting them I don't want it, this server to end up being that way that is why I do not have PvP on to begin with because I know that there's a lot of people that if they come here that's what they would do I mean as soon as like say you saw a newbie coming up it doesn't matter who they are you just okay player boom and you shoot them it, that makes no sense to me I'm sure that they would not like that if that had happened to them when they first first get started and don't even have a chance to survive, you know, a single day because somebody's going to shoot them. I want to give everybody a chance to come on the server, get get built something built, get yourself a sleeping bag made so that you have a place you can spawn and uh have fun. I mean, it's it's really not a whole lot of fun if you come on, you're trying to survive a night, you have zombies to deal with, you got bears to deal with, you got wolves to deal with, you have hunger. When you first start off, you're going to have hunger issues. And not only that, you have to worry about running into any player because you have, there's a chance they could shoot you. Because they've already been here long enough to have guns and all that. I have 
every gun that you can have in here because I've been playing it for days now and you know you find the blueprints you find the actual gun you got research kits where you can research them so you know how to build them the whole nine yards and it is getting to be dark so I am going to go back in the house get the fires lit I do have sleepers on on this server and uh, that is might end up being an issue I'm thinking about turning sleepers off for PvP because I don't want people to be able to take somebody who's not even here you know bust into their house and shoot them why can't I there it is see there's Ian right now he's he's a sleeper he's uh, working today I think I'm not sure either way uh, he's not here so now because the sleeper even if actually if, even if PVE is on if I was to shoot him right now even though PvP is not on it would still kill him and he would lose everything so we've had that happen we've had issues where somebody was just playing around and they thought ah, I got a chance to shoot this guy because he's not even here shot him and it, body disappeared and it was nothing but a bag and it's like oh no so we had to take everything out of the bag and put it into a box so that they would have it when they came back and it was just a learning curve we did not know that you could still do that and I am now the only person on the server so uh, hopefully people are gonna watch this they're gonna say yeah well maybe we'll go check out his server and I do have oxmen uh, or oxide in here where the buildings do not decay anymore. Uh, we had an issue on the other server I had, which I think everybody who has seen my videos knows what happened with that fiasco of uh, just really poor support from the place that I had a server from, so I axed them and, and went somewhere else. And so far this is, place has been just fantastic. So kudos to them um, I don't not sure where exactly where I was going uh, oh the the oxide we had an issue where everybody's houses were gone they would come back and and they, there'd be a foundation and a few pillars and, and walls were gone ceilings gone stairs gone what happens is over time the structures would actually decay and I actually put in a, a a mod that that will not happen structures do not decay on my server there is a monetary system uh, in fact I think I'm up to almost 5500 you start off with a thousand dollars right off the bat the way it works is if you kill someone in PvP you get half of whatever it is that they've got which I think is fair because that person doesn't go down to zero. Um, what other mods did I put on here? Um, not a hundred percent sure now. Uh, the money, the no decay, and there was one other mod I put on here that I'm not a hundred percent sure what it was, but I. I'm going to be keep looking for the different mods that, they, that you can have. Um, I want to make sure that we get everything pretty much optimized as best as we can on the server. That way, everybody's got you know everything they want or that you can have in the game. I'm still trying to figure out how to set it up so that you get a starter kit. If anybody knows how to do that, please put that in the comments. Uh, I want to be able to set it up so they can get just a little bit of food, maybe you know, two cooked chicken breasts and a stone hatchet or something like that. Maybe a sleeping bag. I don't I don't know yet exactly how I'm gonna do it. I know that there's other servers that have that set up where all you have to do is type in uh, you know slash starter and they would get on the one that I went to you got a hatchet and a sleeping bag. And that's what it gave you but you can set it up however you want to because other servers they had a 
what they called a war starter kit and it would give you a, a, a particular gun the ammo for it you know and a little bit of uh, armor and you know those that's like a hardcore PvP is what that was for because they wanted to make sure you had half a chance of staying alive for two seconds but I you know I have no plans of that of course I just want to make sure that if someone comes in and they know about the starter kit deal and they can they can hit it survive at least a night you know give them two pieces of chicken breast two pieces gives you another thousand uh, food that's actually calories is what that goes goes by and that gives you a little bit more time to go ahead and you know kill you an animal make you a, a campfire cook it up stuff like that so that's what I plan on doing as soon as I can find out how to do that. And there's probably a YouTube video that will show how I would go ahead and go about doing that. I haven't found anything in the uh, commands or, or anything in for my server panel through the, the outfit that I've got the server from that explains anything about that. So I'm just going to keep on researching that until I can find it and then I'm going to figure out Maybe I'll get together with the group of guys that I actually normally play with and find out just what kind of starter kit we want to start everybody with and uh, go from there. So hopefully people that are watching this will go ahead and come to the boiler room. I'm going to go ahead and have the information down below again, just like I did on my first video of telling you that the server was here. That way you know how to find it, uh, how to get to it directly if you can't find it on the list, stuff like that and uh, hopefully you come and have a little fun and we get more people on this server because I'm tired of there being just one or two people here we can uh, <laughs> we can actually go around and do things on the island I want to explore the island away from the road area because if you have, if you've ever looked at the rust map the entire map the area that I've normally been in has been where the road is, which actually makes a, a big, uh, really erratic circle type of deal, but it goes over all the way around in one loop. That is actually only a very small corner of the entire map, and I have not been out in the wilderness at all in Rust, and I want to do that at some point, but I need to... Uh, It'd be nice if we had like a group of people that would do that because I have no idea what's out there. I mean, granted, you could go out there with a very little so that way you don't lose much and then, you know, you just go ahead and let yourself die out there and then you can get yourself back home by, you know, spawning back at your sleeping bag. However, I think, just think it would be more fun with a group of people to go out there and see what's really out there and maybe see, even set up something out there, uh, some kind of a community type of deal out there as long as there was resources in those areas that uh, you can go ahead and get. I, I do know that all, everywhere around the roaded area there's there's all kinds of different places for resources I just haven't been out in the wilderness to know what's out there at all and so far there's nothing on the maps except for what's around the roaded area because the maps that you can find on the internet were all made by players so that's just made by people that have went around the map and seen what was there and made up their own names you know for what they are and stuff like that because every time you, you you check out one map and you look on another map everything's named something totally different because because everything is made by players but I'm just kinda rambling now so what I'm going to do is go ahead and end this video and I, I had told you that I was going to go ahead and make one and show you the place after I got it made and I have done that I have let you know what uh, mods I have put on here so far I still have other ones to put on there I want to I wouldn't mind putting in door sharing um, however I didn't put it on here so, so far because I want to put a password on whatever doors I want to allow people to use 
because there's going to be other doors I don't want them to be able to use, you know what I mean, to get to my stuff. And if you do door shearing on Oxide, you put in your slash share and that person's name, and they can now open absolutely every single door that you put up. And I, I just don't want that. I want to be able to keep some things hidden behind a door that no one else can get through. Unless, of course, they use explosives to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. And I hope to see some other people come into the server. It is called the Boiler Room. Details on how to find it in the description below. And... Uh, I will talk to you all later. Hope you have a wonderful day, evening, whatever it is while you're watching this video. Adios, folks.